Here at Embedded World 2024 in Munich, I am joined by Marcello from Arduino for a quite an exciting announcement. Because Arduino were the people back in the day who took the quite technical stuff that was being used across the industry and put it into the hands of the many. Not just makers like me, but also engineers and allowed them to prototype things a lot easier and a lot quicker. And that legacy has been followed right up to now with the release of the SPE Shield. Now, single pair Ethernet, in brief, is just two wires that can do power and data. Um, but there's a lot more to the Shield than that, isn't there, Marcello? Absolutely, yes. Uh, to your point, uh, the whole existence of Arduino uh, uh, rolls around, uh, you know, the concept that uh, innovation don't necessarily have to make, you know, to be hard. Yeah. And actually, you know, our mission is to make things, uh, you know, simpler for makers, uh, for developers, uh, for engineers, uh, and for enterprises, uh, uh, in order for them to embed those technologies uh, into their products, uh, into their processes, uh, and into their operations. Absolutely, yeah. And, uh, and one of the things with this shield that really follows on is, um, of course, there is always the element that it will put this technology into the hands of people that maybe it's the first time they are touching it. But the shield doesn't just have um, single pair Ethernet on it as well. There is also um, legacy, well, we call it legacy, but there's still a lot of things in the world that are using serial communication, right? So the idea here is that if you are an engineer who's maybe working with devices that have been built up over quite a, 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 quite a long time, maybe in smart automation or in factories or whatever, um, this shield actually combines it with, um, I'm, I might get this wrong, is it RJ485? Yes. Yes. So, um, so how, in a sort of working example, how would that um, kind of all come together? Now, let's say you have an old device which communicates with that serially. How does this SPE shield allow you to actually bring that old equipment into a very modern workflow? Absolutely. So I would say that, uh, personally, I see connectivity as a spectrum, yeah. right? Uh, where you have uh, you know, different types of connectivity that are useful for you know, different scenarios, right? And different use cases. And I think that, uh, in a way, single pair Ethernet uh, is the, uh, you know, the grandchild uh, of uh, uh, you know RS four eight five or Modbus uh, RTU as uh, you know is uh, you know, also known uh, as uh, and uh, you know we see a lot of uh, scenarios where uh, you know you can have legacy equipment uh, that has Modbus RTU yeah. right probably half of the world out there have you know Modbus uh, yeah. right uh, um, and single pair Ethernet is an opportunity to get the same uh, concept of connectivity to the future mm -hmm. but also to um, to retrofit yeah. existing equipment uh, and bring them online into a modern network architecture, yeah. keeping the same simplicity of having just a twisted pair or just a pair of, uh, of wires, uh, right? Uh, but without uh, all the complexities and the constraints uh, of the traditional legacy mod bus. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, one of the things I suppose as well from the uh, uh, actual hardware perspective is this is a shield for the Arduino Uno, am I correct? Yeah. So, um, of course, you will have the option there, presumably, to if you uh, do need something that is relatively simple and you still have an Arduino Uno, say, revision 3, it, that will work with it because it is a shield and you will be able to do some form of communication. But if you're doing something a lot more complex and you're using a more modern processor like the ones on the R4, like the Renesas processors, these things are all Arduino shields. They're all pin for pin compatible. So you have a lot of flexibility as to how you actually implement it as well, right? Absolutely. So we intentionally went for our Uno Shield yeah. because we wanted to make this technology available to the largest audience possible. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And so any you know, uh, uh, owner of uh, Arduino Uno, R3, R4, of an Arduino Mega, an Arduino Giga will be able to use this uh, and, and experiment with this. But also, this is not just uh, uh, you know, as an add-on for a tool for makers. Uh, uh, not only because Unos are used uh, in enterprise, uh, right, day in and day out, uh, but also because we have uh, and we will be releasing more and more, uh, you know, kits and devices that will be compatible with the Uno, uh, you know, pinout, uh, but will be targeted to more professional and, uh, you know, serious, uh, so to speak, uh, you know, engineers and companies out there. Absolutely, and I, and I feel like this is something that I have commented on in the past that the uh, the the, the kind of products that are coming out from Arduino are, are, are doing a really nice blurring thing. I've mentioned several times that the, the lower end things of the Pro line and the higher end things of the regular Arduino line are very similar in their specs and the way that you can work with them. There's a very low barrier to entry. Um, and that's obviously fantastic for makers, but for engineers, as I mentioned before, quick prototyping is, is massive. Um, I know you mentioned that there's no uh, specific release date for the SPE Shield as yet, and it will be coming soon. Um, but one question I suppose is, um, if we've worked with Arduinos before, we know that the add-ons have different library supports. Um, is there going to be sort of a dedicated set of libraries for working with the SPE Shield that will allow you to do things like, as you say, talk to legacy equipment and add them to an SPE uh, network, as it were? Yeah, absolutely. There's going to be, of course, right, a uh, uh, single-pair Ethernet library mm -hmm. that will be compatible with uh, you know all the modern Arduino boards. Yeah. Uh, 
but also, and this is the power of Arduino as a you know as a platform, right? Uh, you will be able to include in your sketch multiple libraries and being able to translate between uh, you know one uh, you know physical uh, uh, you know protocol to another, yeah. from one technology for connectivity to another, yeah. in a completely seamless way. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, I, I, one of the things that I have mentioned several times whenever I've talked about things like this is the uh, the complexity of technology is one of the things that, of course, brings us all of the wonderful things that we do. But for a non-engineer like me, that's quite a difficult issue to get my head around at all. But the one thing that engineers want is simplicity. And this is just another example of Arduino doing it. Marcello, thank you so much for giving me your time today. Thank you for having me.